Good morning. So uh, back to uh, Snippet Pixie Dev. Um, after being rudely interrupted on my last session with uh, a uh, power outage during Storm Eunice, um, it's still pretty windy out there, so not ruling out getting uh, another power cut, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right today. Fingers crossed. So where were we? Um, we were on expand abbreviation. Oh, that's right. So I think I'd just run a quick test of this CLI and noticed that it was printing out. Um, it was printing out the result, but including the memory address. So let's give that another go here. So let's do a quick make. Should be all right. Yep. Um, let's get the daemon up. Again, just a quick make. Yep. So that's a little dbus server up and running, which has all the database of snippets. And now on the CLI, we can do, in theory, snippet, expand, and then something like sp back tick yeah and we're getting the address and the result that we actually want so let's fix that up then so that's assuming so am i returning a pointer here no or shouldn't be Interesting. That is weird. That is very weird. I'm not expecting that at all. Um, when you consider how that actually has snippets coming back. That works, doesn't it? <laughs> I haven't changed something, have I? Um, I think if I just do list, I'll get something. Yeah, so that's fine. But that is a pointer. No, it's not. is weird okay i'm very confused right now because this hold on a second Okay, let's debug this then. Uh, so I'm not sure I've debugged the CLI yet. That's going to be interesting. Um, how do we fake it? When I run this, can I run it and OK, 
Okay. Right, let's put a point, let's put a break in. Put a break in here. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to need to find a way. Right, so can I run it with some sort of config? Run configuration. Right, program arguments. Anything else? No. Let's CLI expand, do this. So we will call it with expand. See how that goes. Okay, so we have nothing yet. Let's check config. Yeah. Okay. We'll just step over. Now we've got a body. It's correct. Nothing. It's just a plain variable. Why am I getting a addressy thing coming? If I step over that. Got the address. Hmm. See, that's not true, it's exactly. It knows this. 
why are we doing this? Oh. <laughs> I'm using the wrong function. <laughs> oh my god. All right, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm using print line there instead of F print line. <laughs> that was so confusing. All right. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't take a second one. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, let me in that. Let's do. There we go. Right. That's what we want. Man. One letter difference in the function name. Right. Okay. That's good. All right. So we have, in theory, a working. That's great. There we go. And now let's do something which expands. We've got the date. Um, I think I've got snippet test, maybe. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Right, so that doesn't exist, does it? So if I do Nope. Ah. Let's get it back up again. So I did not. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a test we need to do. So if the snippet doesn't exist, we're in trouble. I wonder if that's the same. If I try and do a list. Because that won't be good either. No, see that that's okay. Okay. All right. Well, we've had the bug straight away. That's good. Let's fix that. Um. And it's in the daemon. It's not happy. Uh, it's not pulling back. Um. We'll follow it through. So expand abbreviation. The dbus service gets an abbreviation. It comes through. Yeah, I mean, let's just double check where it fails. Placeholders 26. Dbus, yeah, so we've got Dbus 224, and then it's placeholders 26. Okay. Yeah, so it's calling in <clears throat> here, and then goes bang. So the abbreviation 26. We're not testing that we've got a snippet. Mm. So this is We could do a very simple test here. I think let's try this. 
We'll do... Should actually go and double check this, but... No, no, it's back. I don't know if that's what we're going to get. Are we going to get that? I haven't got I haven't got like a nil function for a snippet. So I don't know whether that's going to work or not. Yeah, it should be nil. Okay. I should get nil back. Nil errors, but also a nil snippet if there isn't one. Ooh. There you go. Okay. So if the snippet is nil, then we just return the empty body and cursor offset. Nil has the error. Because it's not technically an error. It's just like no result. Okay. I think I'll do a make up here as well, just to catch up. Let's take its time again. I almost get at least one of these. So let's run the daemon, run the bad, our list is okay we know, and if I do expand, just get an empty result, it's good. Mm, shouldn't print anything really. So. In CLI, I mean, this is all going to have to be refactored out at some point, but here, I think we'll just guard this. And we'll just have... Um, if body should we just bow early yeah thank you I think that's probably best and then do the thing that we want to do knowing that we've got something to print uh, we should be okay okay good yeah that's what we want we don't really want an empty line for that uh, it should still have a good result yeah and if we do uh, let's find I can't remember what it was called so let's do list snippet because I know I've got some I really need to fix that that's not good but anyway snip test okay that's what it was yeah I need to change this list in the format to something more usable. So, snip test. It might be... Yeah. So let's see how far that goes. OK. 
good. So that does level three and then just embeds the unaltered placeholder there. And that is in theory this level four, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah. I think we're good. Now that has a cursor in it, level three, which was the test that I kind of use. It's like, it gets that far, has a cursor right after that, and then just doesn't go any further. Um, it's my little thing that I've carried around in Snippet Pixie. Uh, so in theory, when we start doing um, like a GUI version of this, uh, I like it actually auto expands and stuff. Uh, in theory, we'll get that position with a cursor. Oh no, we won't because I've because it's embedded. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's, is there an earlier one? Yes, level one. Yeah, so I should go there. Um, so you'll see, yeah, in theory, the cursor ends up there. And then everything else is marked up. All right, so that was good. Now, I need to put that uh, misfire into a test because that was not expected. Uh, so where are we going to put that? That was in placeholders. So placeholders tests. I need to test for that. I will do this. And not finding snippet to expand. Uh, so the abbreviation does not exist. And we expect Hmm. Can I put nil there? I don't think I can, can I? Yeah, it just has to be empty. And because that's, yeah. And the cursor of that should be minus one. I'm not sure that's actually going to be the right expect there. May have to use a different variable there. I'll take it out. Okay. Let's run the tests. Uh, let's do them all. Okay, that was okay. Make sure 
Everything was good. All right, we're good. Okay, that's good. Uh, so that means we now have... We now have a working... It's just that's been potentially rebuilt. expand function which is great um what else do we have do i have time no nope. where's my list oh I've got, yeah i've got my um dt calc let's see what that does these are all things that are actually my snippets for... Oh. I meant to do expand. Now this will fail. Because I need to do back tick on it, don't I? Yep, so I need to quote that as my shell. So... Yep. So the wrong date thing we still got a problem with. Um, as in it's doing American style day, uh, month, year. Uh, but the time is roughly correct. And there's a test with just stuff going on. Okay, escaped works next year is 23. Next month is March. Next week, 28th. Tomorrow is the 22nd. And then we've got our minute saying so that's okay. Take your word for it. Great. Okay. I think. I think that's something that could be committed. What to do's have I got? Yeah, that's the list of things I need to fix up. And then. Ooh. Translation stuff I need to sort out. Oh, I've done that, haven't I? Yep. Yeah, translation stuff eventually I need to do. Localize is the problem that I just noticed. Well, not noticed, that I just pointed out. And then it out. Oh, that's just another test. Okay. We are good. Okay. Uh, placeholders, expand date, hold on. We've got collapse, expand cursor, expand date. Expand clipboard, expand snippet, expand body. Good. Alrighty. Let's commit this. Um, this will do add. 
expand. Command CLI. Okay. Um, right, well, what's next? Because I've just now, oh yeah, I've got to do that. Uh, so that is done. Ooh. We've done all these things. We have all these placeholders intact. I have done expand and then just abbreviation on its own um, or with that or should I have give that a quick test and um, so I can do abbreviation equals and that works and I should be able to do minus a and that works good yep so I've done it all done I think not fixed it's implemented I should start using um, you can append stuff to a commit message uh, and it will like auto do the thing. I'll have to look that up and do that at some point. But anyway, we are done. Let's look at my list. Yeah, so the one that's going to bite me the most at the moment is this string of time issue. Um, so the library I'm using for doing things like percent x uh, to get a date format in the snippet placeholder it's american authored um, and they're just hard coding it to month day year so we will need to fix that but i haven't got time for that today um so I think I'll keep this one short and then I'll come back and uh, maybe tackle that some other day. Yeah. So um, let's just check the builds actually before we go. Have they finished? Oh. That's not good. That's something we need to fix. What's going on? Ouch, okay. Dependencies, now that I've got the clipboard stuff in. Eek. Okay, that's something I need to sort out. Uh, and how long has that been failing then? I haven't looked at these for a few days. Yeah, that is since I've introduced Yep. Okay, so I need uh, some dependencies. 
in the builds. And that's like just to go. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Um, what's the best way to find? Where that dependency comes from. I wonder if it mentions it in the docs. Okay. All right. So Libx eleven dev. Yeah, it depends on where you are as to which uh let's have a quick Uh, which one is this? Uh, I'm on the... That's funny, it's not telling me which it is. I think it's the arch one, isn't it? Uh, I think, have I just run out of time? Oh, that was an ancient one. Yeah, didn't need that. Uh, let's do, go in order, we'll do arch first. We'll jump in. And then, uh, what have we got as a package manager here? I bet we haven't got it yet, have we? We do, cool, okay. Uh, yay! Uh, what's the... I'll just do libx11, and then hopefully that will find it. Uh, let's do better search. Oh, hmm. What's the other options? Xorg. Let's 
It's going to find loads in it. Yeah, I don't want that. X11 Devel. No. Nope. Okay, so it's interesting it's not picking up there. I expected that to show it. And that. Don't want AIU. Okay. Hmm. Xorg server devour. What's that then? That's probably it. Okay, we'll give that a go. So what I'll do is I'll just edit and resubmit that one. With that, I will see how it goes. And then while that's running, I'll have a look at uh, well, Nixos is easy for me to search. I know how to do that. Uh, let's have a quick look at Ubuntu. Yeah. That, I bet, is going to be oh, I've run out of time on that one. Okay. So, let me do this for my Nexus. I'm pretty sure that's going to be something like Lipx11, I can search for. Hmm. No, that's not what I want. Just want to check to see if there's nothing simple there. No, okay. Oh, 
find it eventually. How hard is it to find? Why do they rename everything? So, in theory, lib x11 something, but that doesn't look right. That might be it, actually. Okay. That might be all I need. I'll give it a go. Uh, so we'll take that as the name. See how that goes. Right, so the other one passed, that's good. Um, and all I added for that was this. So that's one down. Oh, I just said it's the wrong one, didn't I? That's not going to work. <laughs> So I just submitted one where it was definitely not going to work beforehand. <laughs> you. Yep. So uh, let's assume that the dependencies in the package docs we're going like, oh, well, let's do the Ubuntu ones first. So libx11 dev, we'll see how that goes. Okay, um, and then in the Nix one down here, I'll just do a quick test with, yeah, that's more like it. I thought it was a bit strange. Um, nope. Xorg, uh, what did I find? Libx11. Capitalized, yeah? Yep. Okay. And we'll try that. Let's preempt to do that. So xorg lib x11. Not 
not sure that's actually gonna find the package. I might need to PM I might need to do Nixos dot Xorg there because of the way that the build server works. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, okay. Right, so So that worked on Ubuntu. Okay, we're done with that. Um, and then here it's going to say that um, Xorg doesn't exist. Do Nixos, keep it. I'm not doing Nix packages, I'm doing Nixos, so we'll see how that goes. And then I'll um submit these things in a minute. Wait, just fix up this. Okay. In theory that will work, I think. So Nixos should be Nixos.org, Xorg, X11, Arch, add in Xorg server to fail. Open to libx11 devel. There you go. Different names for different distros. Oh, I just need to wait for that to finish before I'll submit it. No, it failed, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. Right. Try this dot dev. That's what we want. Hopefully. You don't really get to see that, but yeah, I just should be unstable as well.
never know best way to find out where the header files are and these kind of things where you when you've got multiple different distros with different setups. So it might not be right, I might need to go do a little quick search for what what's correct there. Okay. Do a little quick check on Nexus Wiki. Yeah, that's not really going to help. Although, I'll do a quick check here. I might not need to prefix. Interestingly, although this could be out of date, I suppose. Nexus LibX. Eleven dev, we'll see what happens there. Just gonna do a quick search in next packages for um lib x eleven. I'm pretty sure I should have a light dot dev. Oh, okay.
Interesting. All right, so this failed again. Uh, let's do a quick test and then I'll I have to stop and go do my things. But it looks like I might get away with this. We'll see. And that might be like a little alias for it, we'll see. I my coffee. That's a shame. Because here, they have been using just libx11, not xorg dot. So I'm assuming because that's It's definitely a sort of dev time dependency. Yeah, and it's patching in the library. Yeah, I think that with luck. Oh, nope. No libx11. Great. Hmm, I'm stuffed then. I need to find out where... What's it complaining about in the thing? Right, so this is an old one. This is what I've got to find. How do I find it? Mm-hmm. Okay, what well, I could do quick work of that derivation. I'm surprised that I'm not finding it straight away. Yep. Oh, it's all moved, hasn't it? Oh, and I've got space in there. Why are you failing? What's going on? Was that ancient? Oh, old enough. Okay. OK, 
Okay, let's just go find it. That's annoying because it's using libx11 without the dot .xorg. I wonder that's the next packages, isn't it? What do I have in my build? Yeah, I'm confused as to why that's not working. I'm obviously not setting something up here. I need to get one in my day. That's not really something I need to fight just now. Clearly just not in the mindset for working that one out today. I'll work it out offline and try and work out why it's not picking up on this libx11. Or if it is, uh, okay. I might need to use I might need to be a little bit more explicit with uh, like LD library path and stuff like that or Hmm, not sure. I'm going to put that back to XORG and then see what the error is. And then fix that some other time. But I need to go and get on my day. Um, so, yeah, come back to that some other point. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, you take care. Bye.